Also, one thing I wanted to do was demonstrate a method of memorization. I have brother Abdullah with me who is going to be starting Madrasa or Quran school on Monday. And today is for Saturday. Are you guys with me? Today is Saturday and he is going to be starting Quran school when? Monday. Are you guys with me? Today is Saturday. And he's going to be starting Quran school when? On Monday. I know, mashallah, brother, you memorized, right? You finished? Gosh, where left? Allahumma barik. Tayyib. What does he start with on Saturday? Let's just say, for example, right? Juz Amma. I'm going to, inshallah, try to explain memorizing a lot in a very short space of time. On Saturday, he starts softening up that which he's going to read to the teacher on Monday. It doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't even have to be at the level where he's able to read the page fluently, or even the ayat connected to one another. As long as he can read it when closing his eyes, jayid, no problem. It may take him half an hour, may take him an hour, right? And you can do that with two pages or three pages, just depends on you. Or 10 lines of poetry, right? Or a hadith. So on Saturday, what does he do? He softens it up. Come Sunday, he strengthens that which he softened up the day before. Are you guys with me? So by the time when he goes to his teacher on Monday, mashallah, it's solid. So what do we say he does on Saturday? He softens it up. What does he do on Sunday? He strengthens it. There's also something else that he has to do on Sunday. He has to start softening up that which he's going to read to the teacher on Tuesday. And you continue like that. Tayyib, come Monday, what does he have to soften up? That which he's going to read to his teacher when? On which day? On Wednesday. And he also strengthens that which he's going to read to the teacher when? On Tuesday. Did everybody get that? You can do a lot, inshallah ta'ala, right? You can memorize a lot in a short space of time. And before all of that, my beloved brothers and sisters, and this is the most important thing, I can give you enough methods if you want, right? And wallahi, no one taught me this. It just came about. And for years, I couldn't articulate this. Wallahi al-Azim. I didn't know how to articulate it, right? I just used to make a lot of dua, a lot of dua, a lot of dua. And some of you guys may have seen that viral video going around. I was the type of person I could not memorize. Wallahi, without exaggeration, I would sit for 20 hours, and sometimes 19. 19 to 20 hours, right? And then I'd go to the teacher as if I never memorized anything. And the teacher wouldn't kind of like get angry because he sees me sitting in the masjid. Excluding, of course, going for salah and coming back and, you know, the 10 minutes that you would eat. And, and then they would say to me, go and ask Allah as the last third of the night. And before you know it, before I knew it right, things just started becoming easy. You will not be able to acquire anything except if it comes from Allah, no matter how many methods you try. And anything is possible at any time. Impossible should not exist in your dictionary. Right? Did everybody get that? Do you want to repeat that for us, inshallah? So you, Abdullah, today is Saturday and he's starting Madrasa, Quran school on Monday. What do you do now on Saturday? So on Saturday, I start off with the softening method where I soften the, say, a page that I want to learn. You don't memorize it fully, you just soften it. So even if the ayat don't connect, you just have like a brief um, memory of the page you're trying to memorize. Um, excellent. Shall I mean, you articulate it better than me? Hey. And then on Sunday, the next day, you solidify what you learned the previous day. So instead of just knowing the ayat without connecting them, now you have to know it solidly, the whole page. You try to get it better than what it was yesterday. It doesn't necessarily have to be fluent, like, you know, al-Fatiha, but it's better than yesterday, okay? So we'll use the term strengthen. You strengthen what you suffered up yesterday. What else do you do on Sunday? 
and on Sunday you soften off what you're going to do for Tuesday. No. Excellent. And then you come to the teacher, don't worry, you'll be, huh? You'll be flying, inshallah. Yeah. And just carry on Monday. And you carry on like that, you carry on like that, you carry on like that. Yeah. Wadih, yeah. I've been meaning to make this video for such a long time. Well, I promised a brother yesterday and I said to him, I'm going to do it tomorrow. And I hope, inshallah, it's beneficial for everyone.